Hey, two guys in the movie here. Wait. Hey, get over here, man. <laughs> get over here. Hey, it's finally two guys in the movie here yeah, once again. And we are back to fanfiction.net. I am introducing you to the wild world of crossover. And we are going to read different paragraphs. So the first one we are going to read is a crossover of Fritz the Cat and Rocco's Modern Life. This should be fun. I've never, for the record, I have never read a fan fiction, and I hope that I never would, but apparently that's all going away now. And I don't think we can read it. Oh, they put an age restriction on it? I guess. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Now we can, well, that, that, there it goes. So, yeah, we're going to have to stumble upon. I should have, I should have known, actually. I should have. Alright, let's click on uh re no not reboot. Reboot's weird. <laughs> that was funny. That was let's too click funny. On, let's click on Gravity Falls. No. Yes. Gravity Falls is one of the best shows ever. Jake doesn't like it though. Kill hey! <laughs> Don't say that on YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. What else? Don't say that ever on YouTube. Well it's true. Anyway. Just kidding, Jake loves that show. Anyway. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I just Oh, are you done? All right. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Gravity Falls and Don't Starve. Click on something random. This one. Oh. So apparently we clicked on on uh, some crossover of Gravity Falls and Transformers Beast Wars. It was a version in 1990, I bet. So, this is by Metro XLR99. And this is how it begins. Di All right. So, Chapter 1, Dipper Pine Reborn. Ooh. Right. A teenage girl with long flowing red hair and freckles sat on a metal, metal bench like block. She was dressed like a lumberjack, and sleeping on her lap on her lap was a preteen girl with long brown hair and wearing a brightly colored sweater with some random image on it. Oh, so Mabel's there. What, what's happening? Wendy sighed sharply as she <laughs> Come on man, shut up. It's like uh, if I did that to you it wouldn't be weird. Alright. Wendy sighed sharply as she struck Mabel's hair. You hold, hey, wait, you hold on a second, Wendy. You're supposed to be with Dipper. I'm just kidding. I can't believe what's happening. Never in my 15 years of life has gone too far I wish that things would be dull and boring and dull. Anything would be better than this. She's not liking life and gravity falls is what she's saying. Right, Wendy looked up and saw a young woman though, in whose body was covered in brown fur slash hair and was wearing a somewhat shredded looking black uniform with a pinstripe X on it. Okay, I don't. I never watched Transformers Beast Wars, so this is this is getting weird. All right, the Beastial Woman, Scarlet. Who's okay? Scarlet's a character. Push the crate of purple and red crystals on a cart. Scarlet, where are the? Right here, oh my, oh my leader, grumbled Scarlet. One little drill looked down inside. Okay, so this is a flashback. Jake, you can read this part. Are you really going to put me up for this? Yes! That's why you're here! You leave those kids alone, you jerk, son, shouted Wendy. A gray-skinned teen, Abraxas. No, maybe it's Abra Abraxas. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Abraxas. Yeah, I just call him Robbie. A clenched his fists and grin grinded his teeth. Grinded his teeth? <laughs> Glowing, like, growling like a beast as Wendy reloaded the blower with another baseball. <laughs> Abraxas lunged at her. Wendy quickly fired another shot with Abraxas defeat. Def deflected. Def which it says deflated. Uh, no, no crap against the person who wrote this. Yeah, stop typing with your face is what we're saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. This is what spell check's for. <laughs> Maybe fanfiction.net has lower standards. Wait, oh, yeah. Which Abraxas deflected with an energized slash. Before Wendy could reload again, Abraxas knocked her down. <laughs> it doesn't even... It says cock her down. <laughs> they didn't even put... It. <laughs> I said knocked by, by habit. Yeah. He then turned and looked, seeing that Dipper and Mabel were gone. Even more anger boiled within it, the half-demon. Okay, so so far we have no idea what's happening. Rawr! Roared Abraxas in rage. <laughs> Wendy groaned as she tried to get up, but Abraxas stomped on her hand hard. 
a kind of many. I have problems first off with anything that says the what they're screaming like. Like literally. it's like typing ah. It says he screamed. <laughs> and it, yeah, that's it. Furious, Abraxas grappled. Grappled her throat, lifted her up, and slammed her body against the tree. This is fanfiction.net. I should probably not even complain about the grammar or spelling. <laughs> <laughs> grappled her throat. Uh, slammed her body against the tree. He pressed her hard against it, breathing heavily and snorting with rage. Wendy herself grasped it at his arm. Grappled again. <laughs> and grasped at his arm, struggling to breathe from the vice-like grip. She tried to kick him, but it, this proved pointless. Wendy was completely at his mercy. <laughs> Abraxas was about ready to kill her. Oh, thank God. <laughs> hey! What? No, I, I thought he was going to go full on beast mode rape. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, please don't rape me. That's the last thing I wanted to see. <laughs> or read. Oh, God, man. Ab Abraxas was about ready to kill her. Then he got an evil idea. Oh, I probably should have. Oh dear. Wait, no, never mind. Boy! Boy! Shouted Abraxas, clearly addressing Dipper. Oh no! I know you have feelings for this one, so listen and listen well. Like I said, we never saw a Transformers Beast Wars. Either you surrender that book of yours, or I will kill only the only girl that you ever loved. Wendy opened Dipper her did eyes. nothing this entire time. Wendy. Like, he just sat there, I guess. Oh, no. Wendy opened her eyes, staring at Abraxas. Abraxas smirked as he raised up his hand. Black shadow-like energy materialized, form forming what looked like a jagged blade. I'm waiting, said Abraxas out loud. Wendy breathed heavily, afraid that she was really going to die, like so many other pretty girls on those cheesy slasher movies. <laughs> Friggin' why didn't, couldn't Wendy fight back? This is lame. One, two, three, four. Actually, that's spaced out. My bad. One, two, three, four. Happy New Year! Again, Abraxas counting. Nine, ten. Wait! Abraxas stopped. He turned and saw Dipper suddenly standing there. Unknown to him, Mabel was hiding and watching. What? How come she didn't do anything? <laughs> There's an episode where... They're in the dream mind, and she has, like, friggin' cat fists and shoots the cat fists at the- Oh, like, stop. Go to a different fanfiction. This is getting stupid. 1984. Where? You're right there. Don't you see it underneath miscellaneous games? <laughs> Why would that be good? <laughs> because they're crazy. Gravity Falls and Supernatural. There's a bunch Ooh. of different ones. How is it? Of all things, I picked that. Let's do this one and then one more. Let's right. just read a little bit of this one. Alright, so this is Gravity Natural by Green Cat 22 Hey, it's a short one, actually. Alright. This could... Alright. I swear... I swear, lay one hand on my sister and I will... Browse Dipper. Ha! I'd like to see you do anything, kid. Look, I'm shaking. Taunts Bill. I will murder you. Oh, crap. It's Bill Cyphers, isn't it? Ha! Ha! I'd like to see you do anything, kid. Look, I'm shaking. Taunts Bill. I will murder you, Dip. Whispers. Oh, I will murder you. Whispers Dipper. <laughs> We're off to a great start. With all force left in his battered body, Dipper lunges at Bill with the knife in his hand. No, no! Shouts the dream demon, stopping Dipper. Now go! He roars. He roars. Mabel limply falls onto the ground. Mabel! Shouts Dipper. No, not while I'm still alive! Screeches Bill. Take me, not Mabel! <laughs> demands Dipper. Bill Cipher, she is my sister. I'd sell my soul to save her. Growls Dipper. He's growling a lot. I'd buy it, but Pine, but Pine Tree, you don't have a cell to tell. Laughs Bill. Oh really? Asks Dipper. But come with me, I'll set her free. Offers Bill. So I don't think so. I don't know. What is this? You, you shouldn't trust a man with a lower hand. I know what you. I know that you're bluffing. Cipher declines. Dipper. You're a smart kid, Pine Tree. Mm, comment, comments Bill. Just like your sister. Dipper chuckles. Yeah, but there's a difference. Bill raises his eyebrow. Oh, what? Oh, my God. This is getting stupid. Oh, what? He, I will not hesitate to kill you. Dipper thrusts the knife through Bill's bow tie. No! Shouts Bill. Yes! This is Dipper. There's nothing about Supernatural, though. Let's skip this. This is... Ugh. 
Uh, you you pick something. Thanks a lot, Green Cat Twenty Two, for that awesome literature. All right, let's click on. Do, 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 I'm spacing do, do. out. <laughs> All right, so we clicked on Robot Chicken. I don't, I'm not sure if I want to do that. You know what we must do now? My little penny. No, <laughs> we mustn't. You said you wouldn't do that. <laughs> Right before we started, this. I lied. No, I'm just kidding. I... <laughs> hey, hey, okay, fine. I'll choose something else. <laughs> oh, I know what we should choose. Ch 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 Bendale. Rescue Rangers. Lunatics Unleashed. Rescuers. Lilo and Stitch. Inspector Gadget. Nothing really strange here. Except for Sailor Moon. But Sh that's Sh Sarah Moon. But that's not <laughs> juicy enough. Yes, it is. Sarah Moon. Sarah Moon so juicy. <laughs> Anybody else disagree? <laughs> We're gonna go to one regular one because I promised you guys a regular crit from fan fiction last time we met. Gosh. And we are going to do uh, Count Duckula. Duckula. Who remembers Count Duckula? Even the cobbler? Uh, I don't know. All right, go with. Let's go with Sesame Street. <laughs> see what we're see what's happening on Sesame Street. Okay, what do we have here? Friggin' Spanish rated T stuff. That's me nights. Wait, do they have ratings on this? Yeah. We have rated K, rated T, rated K plus. Elmo ruins Sesame Street. Let's do this one. So this is Elmo ruins Sesame Street. I'm and it's by Muchacho 1994. So, oh, so it's like kind of like a script. So let's see. One day Elmo was walking down Sesame Street when he ran into Big Bird. Oh, so I'll, okay, so I'll be Elmo, you be Big Bird. Alright. Hi, Big Bird! Hi, Elmo. Suddenly he got lots of, he got lots and lots of unneeded feathers, and now he's starting to sport a teddy bear named Radar. What? So, let me see what happens. Suddenly he got lots and lots of unneeded feathers, and now he's, not, and he now sported a teddy bear named Radar. What? Alright, keep reading. Well, thanks a lot, Elmo. Elmo was confused, but kept going. He walked into Hooper's store. That's when he saw Bert and Ernie in the lavatories, scrubbing the toilets. Oh, thank God. All right, so... Hi, Bert! Hi, Ernie! Why are you working at Hooper's? Thanks to you, Elmo, we lost the spotlight, so we homosexuals had to find a new job. <laughs> Telly Monster, Monster was watching TV while he, and his eyes were swirling, and he had an antenna stuck in his head. As soon as he saw Elmo, he lost his antennas and turned into a normal monster with a pogo stick. Wah! <laughs> Screamed Telly. You were in my life when you came along. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> that could ruin anybody's childhood. Alright, keep reading. This is funny. Oh, where was I? Oh, yeah. He gave... He gave Elmo the middle finger and he <laughs> walked over to snuffle up. <laughs> Mr. Snuffleupagus, who was da tap dancing, Snuffy shouted in pain as he felt as his fur fell out and revealed a regular gray elephant underneath. Holy crap! He was an elephant. Mm. No. He says the beautiful day monster ate his tap shoes. What? Then disappeared, never to see him and be seen again because of him. What is this? Someone was really mad at Elmo. Later, Elmo made Don Music love his music career. Cause the, cause the, the Dini little super guy shrink even more until he went pop. Alright, so now this guy's typing with his face. He also made Bob and quite a few other well-known humans dissipate into oblivion. What? What is this? Soon, Elmo was the only one left. And he turned a corner. He got killed in a drive-by shooting. <laughs> his last words before falling into hell and a, into a boiling pot Satan had prepared. The end. Somebody had some pent up rage towards Elmo. Muchacho 1994, you're crazy. It's not Gerald, so don't just start bashing me. Too late, you already wrote this. Elmo is so annoying. True, he is. Actually. So, that was some pen. That was fanfiction.net. Let us know if you want us to do more. Yeah. You probably won't. I probably will. I'm not sure about you. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Alright. Um, <laughs> way to not click anything. Um, <laughs> Come on, man. Put your finger on the screen. Alright. This is...